Have you ever want to read a few books at the same time but you only have one bookmark? It would be easy to just take a random paper to slot it in. But what fun would that be? Let's make book personalized bookmarks instead. Introducing the first book is The Psychology of Money. I bought this book to have a better perspective on wealth. I really like how it focuses more on the soft skills rather than just numbers. It highlights the emotional side of investing and managing finances. I wish that I picked this book earlier so that I could empathize better when people share about their financial goals. This book is presented in a short stories form and so it's really easy to digest. I plan to read more on investments and economics so that you know you gotta pave way for money. I will start with ideation. At the top line, I'm thinking maybe a cat money note. It's because I like cats. I could do three tiles to represent the main topics: wealth, greed, and happiness. Or perhaps a fortune cat resting, or maybe investing. So the next book we have here is I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Topoki. It's not about Topoki but it's about the author sharing her therapy sessions with her psychiatrist in a dialogue format. It's a fairly simple read and it is actually quite relatable. This book shares ways to reframe our mind and not let our thoughts torture ourselves. I appreciate some of the topics especially on self-esteem and also extreme thinking. I finished reading this but I would still randomly flip the book to check in with my thoughts. For this book, I was thinking of floating cute rice cake, egg, fish cake and scallions. Maybe a girl hanging on the rice cake for her dear life. And at the bottom there could be gravy. How about an egg giving a rice cake some therapy session? The last book I'm featuring today is 48 Laws of Power. This book is pretty heavy for me. Um, I have to take breaks reading this. The title is pretty self-explanatory. It's about wicked strategies to gain power. You can either use it as a sword or a shield to protect yourself in this cunning world. The book is quite evil and yet so enlightening. I've become so much more aware of people around me after reading this. So perhaps a scepter and devil's trumpet flower with thorn crawling around it representing the pain and the poison in order to gain power or a cat in a bubble protected from the wild world maybe a hand punch made of clouds and I'll have all these cute little things flying out from it I'm sketching the final concepts on watercolour paper. Try to match the colour from the book title. I've changed the first frame into Ingot to represent wealth. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Thank you.
the easy part of the project is I don't really need to think about the colours. I just need to pick them from the book cover. Ever felt hungry while painting? All I could think of is tasting some yoboki. I've tried learning painting flowers, but my skills is still the same. Use the corner cutter to round the pointy edges. And my bookmarks are ready to use. Which design do you love the most? Comment below and let me know. That's all for today and I will continue making the rest next time. And I will see you very soon. Bye bye.